welcome back in the second part of the triplet prank pcr video and in this video uh, we are going to discuss about um, the part which was left in the part 1 uh, in case you have, if you haven't seen the part 1 i am sharing the link in the description box it will be way more easier to understand the part 2 if you have seen the part 1 let's move ahead in the previous video we have discussed why southern blot uh, blotting although being the gold standard method for the detection of the trinucleotide expansion disorder is replaced by more sen sensitive method because of its limitations such as time consuming it was inefficient costly and it also required large quantity of high quality dna for a single analysis therefore it was replaced by pcr which stands for polymerase chain reaction in the the conventional PCR amplification of these unstable DNA sequence involves the use of pair of locus specific primer P1 and P2 that flanks the variable trinucleotide sequences having P12, P1 and P1, P2 is determined in such a way that they this is the sequence or usko flank karte where these primers are designed or fir isko analyze kiya jata hai following is the result of pcr amplification of myotonin locus using flanking prime primers and the axis shown here shows the migration time in the minutes and these peak determines the allele size shown with an arrow as we know there are three conditions normal allele small expansions and full expansion as in first case we can observe there are two peaks of different sizes are observed first is of 5 and second is of 11 since it is a heterozygous subject in the second case also there are two two peaks were observed one of 11 and second is of uh, 50 cag expansion in in that case there was only small expansion and two peaks are observed as compared to the full expansion where only one peak was observed that is of 21 cag and no other peak was observed which led to the fact which was uh, led to the fact that the large allele failed to amplify in through the uh, conventional PCR whose size was already determined to be greater than of 4 KB by the southern blot analysis. Therefore, the conventional PCR cannot be used for the detection or diagnosis of trinucleotide expansion disorder. Therefore, the triplet PCR, prime PCR was used for the diagnosis the concept of the uh, detection the concept of trinucleotide triplet repeat prime pcr first came from the work of Warner et al in 1996 and this uh, pcr assay used specific flanking fluorescent labeled primers in concert with a pair of primers which have common five prime tail now what is the procedure which was used uh, while doing all these experiments was first the dna was um, dna which was used for the pcr amplification was extracted from the source material using standard dna extraction method then pcr for this was performed and pcr product was then resolved and visualized this is the schematic representation of all experiment from dna extraction to uh, DNA uh, from how primer bind to DNA then their fragment analysis why capillary electrophoresis to electrophorogram that is the graphical representation of the result showing different peaks in the normal and the expanded case now let us discuss what is the difference between the conventional PCR and the triplet prime PCR that helps to solve the problem of conventional PCR which fails to amplify the larger allele 
in the conventional pcr two primers were used p1 and p2 the two also flank uh, bind the outside the gene of interest whereas in the triplet prime pcr three primers were used giving in notations p1 p3 and p4 whereas p1 and p1 in the both um, in the triplet prime pcr and the conventional was common the p1 primer bind outside the gene of interest p1 bind outside the gene of interest p4 primer having two portion one is the uh, three prime end portion which is complementary to the gene of interest and a tail portion which is complementary to the p3 primer which have no binding site in the gene of interest or the whole genome so p3 is designed in such a way that it only binds to the tail portion of the p4 primer and it will be able to form a pair primer pair with the p1 only after p4 is incorporated in the newly amplified fragment let us understand in detail how this setup works is the in the initial cycle p1 and the p4 form the primer pair and bind to the target sequence in that also p4 primer 3 prime end have the sequence complementary to the target sec is uh, target sequence and in that also our target sequence is a repetitive sequence therefore p4 primer can bind to the multiple sites of the target leading to the formation of amplified product having different length and in the end p4 is also incorporated in that amplified product now the p3 primer which was unable to bind initially since there was no sequence was not complementary to the target sequence but now can bind because p3 have a sequence complementary to the p4 primer and p4 primer is now on, incorporated in the newly amplified product of different fragment now p1 and p3 can form a primer pair and amplify the freshly uh, formed target sequences from the initial cycles of the pcr and the pcr uh, primer p3 amplifier from the end product from the previous amplification cycle also a long extension time is used to allow the complete extension of the larger size product within the pcr product mixture and to conserve the representation of larger products also one of the more important uh, also an important point is ratio of the p3 to the p4 since we want p4 primer to be incorporated in the initial cycle only therefore 10 is to 1 uh, approximately ratio is taken so that p4 initial cycle may newly amplified product may incorporate ho jaye aur p3 ko site provide kare taki it can um, start also it can provide the binding site for the p3 so that wo template strand pe bind karke amplify kar sake the product which we are going to uh, analyze downstream if we try to understand ki initially p1 and p4 primer uh, form a primer pair and then uh, when the p4 primer part is incorporated in the newly amplified product then it provide the binding site for the p3 primer to further amplify so that p4 ne jo bhi amplify kiya product koi bhi miss out na ho it can be further amplified in the next cycles understanding the importance of the tail primer it is also very important to understand how tail primer are selected they are selected randomly from uh, they are selected uh, they are random dna sequences and there are following selection criteria which need to be followed before designing that uh, t3 prime p3 primer it should contain little or no self complementarity taki wo primer primer pairing na kare also there should be no complementarity with the 
टारगेट और टेम्पलेट सीक्वेंस वरना वो पहले ही टारगेट सीक्वेंस पे बाइंड कर जाएगा इंस्टेड ऑफ बाइंडिंग विद द टेल ऑफ पी फोर प्राइमर दे शुड बी नो होमोलॉगी विद द ह्यूमन सीक्वेंस वरना वो नॉन स्पेसिफिक साइट पे बाइंडिंग करके नॉन स्पेसिफिक दिस इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ अ ट्रिपलेट प्राइम्ड एफ एम आर वन पी सी आर एस एन फ्रेजाइल एक्स अलील एंड ऑल थ्री कंडीशन आर शोन हेयर इन द नॉर्मल कंडीशन डिफरेंट पीक्स आर ऑब्जर्व ऑफ स्मॉलर साइज एज कंपेयर टू इन हिट्रोजाइगस कंडीशन हिट्रोजाइगस एक्सपेंडेड अलील कंडीशन वी कैन ऑब्जर्व द पीक लाइक नॉर्मल एंड अ स्मॉल लेडर मोटिव इज ऑब्जर्व to the of the expanded allele and in case three of expanded allele we observed a ladder motif because of generation of small size of amplified product from pcr from small one initially to the large one at the last in this case the presence or uh, absence can be easily be identified by the threshold value uh, threshold set at 299 uh, base pair which was used to define एफ एम आर अलील एक्सपेंशन हैज अकर्ड और नॉट दिस इज एन एन अदर एग्जाम्पल जिसमें दिस इज एन अनदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पी सी आर एम्पलीफिकेशन एट द माओटोन इन लोकस यूजिंग द इंटरनल प्राइमर हेयर वी कैन ऑब्जर्व अ लेडर मोटिव इन द फुल एक्सपेंशन एज कंपेयर टू द स्मॉल एक्सपेंशन और द नॉर्मल अलील the uh, ladder shows the presence of cag allele uh, which were undetectable using the flanking primers which were used in the conventional pcr as we can observe here so conventional uh, triplet prime pcr uh, overcome the limitations of the um, conventional pcr and the uh, the southern blot sc references of all the content which we discussed in this video are given with the images on that particular slides um, thank you for watching the video do like share and subscribe the channel abc's of biology